guys, this production music live with a quick tutorial. We're going to have a look at the new functions of Simpler, of the new 9.5 Simpler version. From this drums group over here, I've sampled this audio loop. So this drums group from our laser template down here, it actually sounds like this. So I've resampled this entire drumming and put it into this audio file over here. And now I'm going to open up a new MIDI track and um, note that I'm loading by default, I'm loading some of those devices that I'm going to need anyways. And now let me quickly drag this recorded audio file onto this MIDI channel and we're automatically open up in a simpler device. And you see this new simpler device looks a whole lot different from the usual Ableton Simpler in versions 9, 9.1, 9.2. It's gotten a big update. Let's solo this track and open up the bigger window over here. And you can see we have classic one shot and slice mode. I'm hitting slice mode now. And you see with this drum loop in here, we, we are getting a lot of slices now. Slices can be adjusted with the sensitivity knob over here. If I go down with the sensitivity, there are less slices. Right now, it's only five slices with 12%. If I go up, we are getting more and more slices. If I now hit my keyboard, I can play around with those slices of this drum loop. That's pretty cool for live sessions, but it's also very nice for quickly editing drum loops you're loading in and making something completely different out of them. For example, I have prepared this little MIDI clip over here. I'm going to drag it onto this simpler channel over here. We can have a look inside of the MIDIs and well, just simply play them. And you see all those slices are getting their own note over here. And now you can simply edit with your push device or some MIDI controllers or with your keyboard or manually with your mouse. You can edit your drum loops very quickly without messing around with the audios if you prefer that. Or in live mode, it's a great tool as well. So um, that's a quick slicing trick for drum loops. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, subscribe to our channel, check the description for templates and drum sounds and I hope to see you next time.